Divesting in Prostitution The Life of a Divester And just to continue with my last video, like I said, like, I know some people are like, well, you don't own friends, like, you don't own people. That is literally not the point. Like, if I know someone is traveling to another city, I've literally, like, hey, I know someone there, let me put you in contact with them. Apparently, she's living in the outskirts of Chicago at her mom's. The apartment she was in before was the boyfriend's, and when they broke up she had to go. She's too cheap to pay her own rent in the city, so back to the hood she went. Now she's back fronting with PPP loan money she uses to fly around to sex random white men. In other words, white men don't so pay her for sex. Back, she it's pays so them for sex. Uh, we have a great to have a great to get married in. So, so your face, so your face. You go to the Google. I was gonna say that I'm speaking by myself. So we're getting married the last next month. Uh, you're only invited. She's my new wife. I'm very excited. Habibi. Habibi. a lot of guys in this scene who is friends with them and not having sex with them for money this is not the attitude to have and i kept going through her content honestly it was just one warning sign after another it is really important to be so so careful on these yachts only go on them if you really know the people a lot of her content just seemed extremely unkind and the way that it was presented um saying numbers and flaunting is the complete opposite to what somebody in this scene would do. It's really important to know that the 9 and 10 figure scene is very, very small, so you need to be careful the kind of content that you do post because this would not be making her friends in that scene. Nobody in that wealth bracket would make a post with a caption like this either. Spelling also seemed to be a bit of an issue, but Harvard wouldn't have minded that, apparently. Finally, this post couldn't be further from the truth. Yes, you have to have a certain level of decorum when you're first meeting somebody, but these people literally own the fucking world. They can do what they want. They are the craziest, wildest, most drug-fucked individuals on the face of this planet. And she is basically excusing men like this for their behavior, which is not okay. And she's pinning it back onto the women. I have had no less than three nine and ten figure guys do this shit on me where they're your friends for x amount of time then they get sick of it and they try to essay you and it's fucking horrible Pretty much these divestors scam, prostitute, and pretend to be rich on Instagram. Many of these women have sex with white men for free. Isn't it interesting? Black women tell you to divest, yet they gotta prostitute themselves in order to get close to white men. White men don't want genuine relations with divestors, they only want gutter sex as you can see.